Hey, my name's Wolfie, and you can definitely trust what I'm saying, because I'm a pilot. And I'm going to show you a load of cartoons, tell you about stuff, and then I'm going to tell you all about piloting. So first of all, here's some cartoons that are in containers, showing you that we've got lower pressure at the top, and high pressure at the bottom. So it's fairly simple, don't need a container, even though it's seen a container. Anyway, what we've also got is the top. Now the top layer's got pressure, according to this it's 10 to the minus 6, so that's a pretty low pressure. But beyond that, I'm not going to show you, but we've also got space right next to that. Now that is a tor value of 10 to the minus 11. Now that's quite a massive difference, but I'm not going to mention that because I'm going to tell you all about flying a plane. So the orders of magnitude of lower pressure that's next to the gas pressure that we definitely all experience, that's 10 to the minus 11. But we'll just brush over that and just talk about the bits we do experience. Forget about the actual bit they call space. And the vacuum that's there and the orders of magnitude that it is below. Because I'm a pilot. Now, because we're talking about gas pressure, I'm going to talk a little bit about water. Because obviously, water is gas. Now, every Aussie knows this, and every pilot knows this. Gas and water are basically the same thing. In the meantime, I want you to hear from one of our British compadres, a teacher who knows a thing or two about gas pressure. Over to you, conspiracy cats. Without the balloon, these air particles aren't going to be striking anything. Therefore, there is no pressure. Without the balloon, these air particles aren't going to be striking anything. Therefore, there is no pressure. Without the balloon, these air particles aren't going to be striking anything. Therefore, there is no pressure. Therefore, there is no pressure. Therefore, there is no pressure. Well, that was a big fat mistake. What was that bum boy know anyway? Obviously you don't need a container. Let's have a look at a few of the definitions. Walls of the container. Walls of the container. Look, these guys don't know nothing about nothing. Now I know everything about everything because I'm a pilot. So the exponentially lower pressure of space, that's not going to have any entropy affecting it. You just can accept from me, because I'm a pilot. You don't need a container. Ignore the definitions and ignore that bum boy. Well, that's all this rubbish. Any proof of gravity? Any proof of the distance of the sun? What's this swan putting it this up? Any evidence of gas pressure without a container? Now I can just assert it. I'm an Aussie and I'm a pilot. What's this now? What's going on here? Any evidence of Earth radius? Molten iron core? I haven't got any of this stuff. Just ignore all of this stuff. Don't answer any of these questions, people. Ignore this. Ignore this.